All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game, One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Baldur's Gate 3, part 44. And I still cannot figure out why Astarian's at full health. I swear he was wounded, but whatever. Uh, something healed him, clearly. Let's see what's going on. If we get too close to the Yankee Crest, we're going to have to grab Lazel. I can't imagine going in there without Lazel. She's basically going to be our in. <clears throat> Probably the only time I'll use Lazel, too. Um, Lathander sign. Approach the fairy in Lathander's grace. May his gaze shine upon you, pilgrim. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, how big is this area? Oh! So wait, this map is massive too? Oh, There's <laughs> just so much to do in this game, guys. I am... I can't believe how big this game is. This is unreal. No traps? Nice. <clears throat> This is actually unreal. We could jump down there, but why would we? Yeah, there's no reason to when we can just ride the ferry later. Okay. Let's not go towards the crash yet. Let's go this way. This is so wild to me. I almost can't believe it. Whoa, whoa, ha, 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 ha. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, you guys. Stop. Everybody stop. Everybody stop. Repulsion mine. Okay, I think we're barely far enough away, by the way. Okay, what are we looking at here? Like, what's going on in the area? Oh, God. Oh, oh. we need to back up. <laughs> We're playing with fire right now. Everybody back here. Everybody back here. We don't need to back up too much, but let's back up a little bit. Thank you. Another one right here. What is a repulsion mine anyway? Like, what are we looking at exactly? Explain. These are free as long as we don't roll ones. Okay. What can we risk? Death Shepherd. What the hell is a Death Shepherd? Level 6 skeleton with Necrotic Veil. Temporary 20 hit points. While it has hit temporary hit points, it's resistant to all damage except radiant damage and cannot be turned. Wow. <clears throat> An allied undead are resistant to bludgeoning, slashing, and piercing within 9 meters. Holy sh... That's crazy, actually. So you, like, kind of need radiant damage to pop these guys. Well, we found a reason to use her level 1 spell slots, I guess. Let's put Guiding Bolt back on the array. Huh. Maybe I should stay crouched forever. Are you sure I can't stay crouched forever? Don't doubt me. And ghouls, level 3 ghouls, which also have an undead ward, resistant to bludgeoning, slashing, and piercing. Including magical? What? So undead ward also works against magical damage. That's kind of nuts, actually. <clears throat> well, this is actually extremely interesting, then. Let's all go a different direction, everybody. Come with me. We're going this way. We've already gone here. Like, we, we were literally standing here last time. We were that close to the Death Shepherds. We'll start, the, we'll start the fight from this side. They look like they should all be melee opponents, you would think, on paper. <clears throat> so if we all start here, start with an assassin attack from a Starion. On a Death Shepherd. 
try to get as much of that temporary HP off as we can. You can move a little closer. Okay, I can do that. Game on. Okay. So, Shadowheart. <laughs> We're gonna need holy attacks. Oh my god, she doesn't have a turn until the end? Oh my, oh my god. Don't be shy. Do we rage here? I don't think we do. I think that's I think that's overstepping bounds. Can she reach that? Probably not, right? God, she's not going to get a turn anyway. This is not good. Wait, a ghast? Oh, snap! It's like a super ghoul. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> That's nasty. What am I looking at? Okay, this is immediately not good. Does this count as adventuring? Did he say that does this count as adventure? Did you just say does this count as adventuring? Bro, what? Are you... What? What? <laughs> what? Anyway, moving on. Alright, fine. I guess... I guess we're doing this this way. Alright, pretty good initiative from Bear Rock there. Let's work our way through this Death Shepherd's initial temp HP. Down to three. Alright. That's good. Uh, yeah, and then we back up with a Starion because he's not built to take hits. And he can transfuse health later, too. It's a win-win. Alright, here comes the gas with a dash. Wait, this is so wild, by the way. Ugh, stench. And then a ghoul's dashing as well. Alright. On top of Karlak, okay. And then the other three ghouls are getting ready to go as well. I don't think they can reach yet, which is good. That means Carlac will get a turn. But Shadowheart is moving so late. That's so bad. I don't think we can use a Rage here. We need to save Rage for a more difficult battle, I think. Assuming that this one isn't going to be that difficult. He's out of range, right? Yeah, he's taking full damage. One good Reckless Attack here can do him in. Nice miss, Bear Rock. Well done. What are the chances he doesn't kill this ghoul? Are you serious? Damn it, Bear Rock. Now you've made it complicated. We could use a potion of speed instead of raging. Definitely a possibility. We've been hanging on to him. Could save us a rage. And we can make these. I'm gonna do it. So do we get two extra attacks or one extra attack? Time to test that out. <coughs> it is! It's a whole extra action of attacks. What? That's not how tabletop works. <laughs> what? <coughs> That's actually crazy. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> okay. Sure. The potion of speed. That's busted. <clears throat> I love it. Alright, they're getting ahead of their death shepherds, so they don't have resistance to damage right now, which is good. But after Karlak's turn, these death shepherds are getting to move, which is a shame. That's going to make things a little awkward. We do have some smites here. Let's use the fire one here. Recklessly. This does what? 8 to 28? Okay, so if we do a reckless attack here and hit. Oh, no, now it's basically... We're kind of basically going to kill it anyway. Kind of feels like a waste if I do it now. Okay, may maybe in a bit here. Good, good. 
The tanks are ready to go. They're in the front line. See, we have five on her, too. And we have six on him after using that one. Yeah, I think we're nice, actually. All right, Death Shepherds. They're dashing as well. Yeah, I think we can avoid raging here. Wow, they, they have terrible movement speed. That's with a dash how far they move? We'll take it. <clears throat> okay, 60% on him. His is basically already gone. So, if he takes full damage from this from this guiding bolt, that would be big. We could also just do a giant shatter. Channel Divinity Shatter right here. That would break this one. If he fails to save, it would break his... Hold up. No, he would still... Wait. Yeah. He, even if he failed his save, he'd still be okay. But he'd be dead if he failed his save. Um, There's not going to be many better chances for us to use level 1 spell slots than this. I'm just worried about not getting our value. <laughs> we do have fireball. Um, This might be really good usage, to be honest. This might be really good usage. Astarion's about to get a turn and everything. Yeah, I'm going to do it, I think. And let's try not to go mad. Let's make our wisdom save, please. Get destructive. Wisdom failed? Alright, let's see what it is. What is happening? <laughs> oh, did it end her turn abruptly? Is that what it is? Oh, I guess that's what it was. That's not bad. It just automatically ends her turn. I can work with that. I can work with that. Can't sneak attack him. But we can do a... Uh, elemental arrow here. True. Could brace, because we're not going to move much anyway. Go ahead and brace up. Move the rest of the distance, and then... Let's fire away with some fire. That'll hit both of them. No way, Astarian. Come on. <laughs> okay. Here comes the ghast. This thing's probably bad. Ghastly fume. Nauseates all around it. Alright, explain nausea. Can't take actions? That is actually brutal. Oh, uh, what? And right now it has the undead ward, so it's taking half damage from all our attacks too. Wow. That's kind of a lot. Let's get a little reckless. Yeah, this thing's also a threat. Let's get it. Nice miss. We are loving the misses right now. That's our bread and butter. Okay, he saved on the absolute power. Man. Okay. Yeah, we're swinging hard. It's just the half damage killing us. And then a concussive smash. God damn! We're missing 70s like it's our job. What is happening here? <laughs> wow. We gotta step up our game quickly. That was terrible. What the fuck? Yeah, this, they're so clumped. It's going to be great for... Um, Shadowheart when she gets a turn here. Man, I wish I could recklessly attack with one of these, you know?
Let's do a Branding Smite here. Sixty percent's not good enough, but I think it'll ask me if I want a reckless, right? Yeah, 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 it will, it will. Okay, got it. We're good. Let's go. Hey, we actually hit something. We love that. Okay, it's a start. No rest for the wicked on ghoul. Really. The Death Shepherds are resummoning the ghouls. Okay. Did not expect that. I'm going to be real. Very interesting. Huh. If I hit Bear Rock, I can hit all four of these. <laughs> Which would be really good, admittedly. And I won't roll... I won't use Destructive here. He has two turns of Hastened left. That runs out quick, doesn't it? Um... The thing is that Guiding Bolt can entirely miss. But if it's not a Death Shepherd, actually, it looks like it has really good odds of hitting. How much damage? 3 to... T 4 to 24? Right now it's resistant to the to the standard stuff. Okay. Alright, we'll go for a Guiding Bolt here real quick. Okay, cool down. Good. And still nobody's taken a hit yet, oddly enough. So that is what it is. That's a long rest attack, so let's not do that. Alright, we can back them up a little bit from here, and we're good. Astarian! He can do 22, but he'd have to roll high. 22 would also kill his Death Shepherd, so that's kind of more important than the Ghoul, but 70% versus 90% hitting. Let's go to 70. You, you can't miss twice, two 70s in a row, right? <laughs> that's right, he would have missed the 92. That's that's what we've seen here. Oh my god. Astarian. You are heavy letting me down in this one. It was successful at first. Alright. A shield. We could do that right now. Yeah, might as well use it when we get the chance. Miss? Get good? Okay. Is he in the aura? He is. So they're all resisting damage again. We've got four attacks. Let's make them count. One. Two. Three, and that's a kill. Dead. Alright. I would love to attack him, but Karlak will get her chance before the other guys does. Nice 10. Oh my god, we hit all our 70s. That's beautiful. And our great weapon master attack. Okay, good job. Finally, a good turn on Bear Rock here. Okay, I can't move him because I'm afraid of proccing the stinking cloud. Good save, good save, good save. What was Claus going to try to do to her? I don't like that. All right, Searing Smite from Avernus could do that. Let's see how this goes. Five. Ew. Oh, this could backfire. This could this could go badly. Concussive Smash to possibly daze. We need a twelve here, so we need kind of a high roll, and we need to hit. I don't want to use her smite on that, surely, right? No way. Nice! Okay, good. Well done, well done. And right, then we can use a normal potion of healing, I guess. 
with our bonus action, then she's healthy, ready to take any more hits she needs to take. And turn. Oh, that's a dick move. <laughs> you did what? They could do that? <laughs> what? Alright, let's see if we can get rid of the ghast. Oh, ten. That's a good start, though. I can't be too upset with that. Because Astarian can surely finish something with 4 HP at 99%. Yeah, he can. He can also do this. But it won't kill it. He can do that and maybe kill it. He can do this and definitely kill it. Let's get rid of this cloud. Oh no! The Dark Urge lost his turn. Yeah, he's lethargic. Can't move or take actions. The aftermath of haste. Damn it. Okay. Um, did the cloud, like, get bigger when he died? That's probably what happened. Damn, that's bad. That's not what I had in mind. Good dodge. Good dodge. Okay. Uh... We'll get a little reckless again. And then a searing smite for the big damage. Nice! Get him out of here! And we use the searing smite so there's no bonus action. Alright. Oh no. These, okay, yeah, these Death Shepherds are the problem. I mean, we keep seeing that, but <laughs> they, they're really laying it on thick that they're the problem here. 60%, that's not good. And I gotta start holding on to level 1 spell slots for the future so that we can actually use this when someone is in danger. We have that if we need it. What are our scrolls right now? We do have Chromatic Orb, true. But that can also miss just as well as Guiding Bolt could. That's not anything unique. Hmm. There's, an <laughs> there's another Shatter. We have a lot of Shatters. Alright, here we go, I guess. Let's hit the Ghast. Yeah. The Death Shepherds don't attack when they do the revive, so we're slowly whittling them down. Nice 13. So that's still true. At least it's slowly whittling them down. Okay. Can't target undead, true. I don't want to get him up in there like that. I'd, I'd rather he just not use that 1 to 4 damage attack. Yeah. Hide if possible? No. Oh, damn it. He successfully paralyzed us. Oh, she's good. Are you not nauseous? Alright, works for me. Say no more. I don't need the go-ahead any other way. Bye. And... We can push you to get you away from your friend here and then hit you again. Alright. Now that he doesn't have Undead Ward... Oh, wait, he still has Undead Ward? I don't think that's how that would work. Damn. Okay. Yep, back on the gas again. See, this is actually, like I said, this is actually kind of fine. Because it's keeping him busy. He's not attacking us. I can honestly work with that. Okay. So many guiding bolts, though. I just really don't like 60% chances to hit. That's really bad. Alright, I'm going to hold on to this last spell slot, obviously. That 9 is disappointing damage. We definitely wanted more on that. Ooh. 
11. It's a start. The Stallion paralyzed again? No, he's got a turn. Okay, I was about to say. Oh my god. He can't reach from here, can he? No, he'd have to go through the stinking cloud. The stinking cloud thing is, is tough. Um. Good. I guess we're just gonna have to risk it. We're just, we're just gonna have to go for it. Okay, miss. Not enough actions, but we do have a great weapon master attack here. Ten more. It's a start. We're working on it. Oh, the claws paralyze. Damn. <laughs> Death Shepherd up again, okay. And now we shatter. We're using so many spell slots here. It's, it's wild. Alright, let's finish this. Ghoul dead. Good. Not enough movement. Fair enough. Alright. Bear Rock. He's dead now. If you hit, he dies. 51%. Come on, baby. Nice. Is he going to have to roll Stinking Cloud again? No, he's not. Okay. There it is. Wow. We did really well. It just was a lot of spell slots on Shadowheart because we had to keep hitting things. I wonder what the next move is. Yeah, that was so that was so many spell slots. But because we did it slow and safe, we did not take like almost any damage. So there's also that. Okay, where's our weights at? Oh, Karlak can pick stuff up again. Damn, it's good to be alive. So, we have now fought a uh, lot more undead, for sure. Some new enemies here that I had not seen before. Sorry about the nauseous, that sounds gross. Dead Zealot of the Absolute. Yo, opulent chest. Oh, hell yeah, level 2 spell slot, elixir of hill giant strength, what? Ingots, gold, that was set. Dead Zealot of the Absolute has something to say, too. Dead gift Yankee youth. Okay, we don't need the pork leg, that's really heavy for no value. Scroll of fly, yes please. Plate armor! Nice. If not for the adamantine armor on Shadowheart, we'd equip that. Yeah, this is actually crazy, um... This area. I can't believe I can't believe this area exists, man. This is so unexpected. Missive from Moonrise. But Carlac loot it. Duke Raven card is to be delivered, unharmed or mostly so, immediately. Moonrise Towers cannot fulfill its destiny until the Duke has been delivered. Those who succeed will be rewarded. Those who fail will face my fur. Face first my wrath, then Gortash's, then mine again. Gortash's in on it. Towers, a powerful asset. Just what are their intentions, I wonder? <sighs> Alright, we have a limited amount of questions we know now. Get us the info, Astarian. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Okay. What were you doing here? Orders. Yes, we know that. Better details than that, please. Thorn. What were your orders? Find Duke Rivengard. Well, they found him. Bring him to the absolute. Okay. Um. Where did these undead come from? I summoned them. You dumbass. <laughs> fight. And then you died. 
attack to buy time for the others. Did he know he was gonna die? That's pretty wild, actually. Why did they attack you? Stumbled upon them. Interrupted. <clears throat> That's it? Didn't realize. You interrupted training, so they try to murder you? <laughs> Dude, the Gith Yankees suck. They are barely better than Mind Flares. What does the Absolute want with Duke Ravenguard? We know where he is now. The corpse remains silent. It does not know. Oh, it's gonna let us ask another one. Where's the Duke Ravenguard now? Silent. It does not know. The spell's power went. All right, we got some good answers there. More questions. All right, all right. I like how it glows green with important bodies. That's a nice quality of life that they did not have to do. Thank you, Larian. How much farther can I go? Because otherwise, you spend time trying to talk to everybody. Wait, does this go to where I think it goes? Oh, did you think you youth? Featherfall and silver ingot, okay. Broken. Or does this need to find another one? Okay, so that doesn't go anywhere. Oh. I thought maybe that was the way to the uh, next area that we had already been to. But apparently not. Let's see what we can find down this way. <coughs> the Rose of Morn Monastery Trail. I can't believe we're here. As in, there's a whole other map happening when the other map is already so massive. This game is just massive. Dude, what's full of corpses? There's gonna be a big beastie down this way? Yeah, there's so many dead animals this way. That's a concern. Oh, this is to the Shadow Curse Lands. Okay. All right. All right. This is looking smaller now. This is this is looking a more manageable size now. Rotten warning sign. Yeah. Okay. So we've gone as far as there is to see in this direction. Now there's only this direction left, which should be leading us directly to the crash, right? And before we get there, let's make sure we have Lazel. I might have to grab her like really soon. So this is the crash, huh? Trap. We did we dodge it anyway? I've been catching myself smiling more lately. I think that's your fault. Yeah. <laughs> uh yeah. Okay, I hate to do it, but just in case we come down this way again, I don't want to Accidentally step on this, even though I know this time we got lucky and didn't step on it. Three is plenty. No guidance needed. Okay, now now we're good to walk through here if we ever need to again. Yeah, I think before we take this lift or go anywhere else, I think I'm going to switch out Carlac for Lazel. Because we need Shadowheart. Astarion's our skill monkey. We obviously have to bring Bear Rock. And Lazel and Karlak kind of fill the same role. Even though I prefer Karlak, we're going to want Lazel for this part. Okay. Let's go do a swap. Hey, Jahira, you made it. Though, Karlak, I'm going to want that sword so I can give that to Lazel. Oh, damn, we're so close! 115 XP! We're about to hit 7 for real! Oh, glorious night. <laughs> you need to stay behind in camp for now. Really? 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 Yeah, even though you look absolutely sick. Oh, oh, shit! <laughs> she convinced me! <laughs> on accident. Alright. This is a new camp! Very well. But we're looking good. Traveler's chest? Have our molds in it? It does. Beautiful. Another ball. <laughs> Will's got something to say. Okay. What's up, Will? How we doing? Isabel, Saluna's light made real. And you slaughtered her like cattle and left last light for the shadows to feed on. 
I'd ask what's become of you. But perhaps this is who you've been all along. Either way, I mourn for the image of you I once held dear. All right. Well met. Fair enough. The cultists have taken your father to Moonrise Towers. Floric has confirmed it. And we know our mission. All roads converge at Moonrise. Yeah, that is kind of convenient. Can we trust Floric? I was 11 when the Counselor spotted and slayed an assassin who stalked father from the shadows. I was 13 when she brought word of a goblin warband. And, and now she's dead. Video. Damn. Her keen scouting saved a hundred lives that day. The Counselor's loyalty to my father is beyond question. She's as steady as Tears heartbeat. <laughs> As upstanding as the Sword Mountains. Rest in peace. At Moonrise Towers, <clears throat> and we need to save him. All right. Cult must have some reason for taking your father, but what? They want violence. They want control. <clears throat> they want Baldur's Gate. Who True. They do want Baldur's Gate. Raven Guard to surround. Sounds like they're attacking it. Who better than the commander of the Flaming Fist to dismantle its defenses? They will infect him, and the city's guardian will become its ruin unless we put a stop to it. To Moonrise, then. We can't let the Absolute take the Grand Duke uh, Ravenguard. We can't and we won't. The shadows be down. Will approves, but he probably, he probably is not a big fan of us right now. Uh, looking a little dicey. Hey, Withers. Okay, where did Lazel go? Just down here? There's Shadowheart. Yo, this camp looks sick! I didn't see this part! It's the... Is this game a real game? Oh my god. Oh my god. This game is so good. I can't believe I have a life right now and I can't just play it to the end. I keep having to go to work and visit family and stuff. No, I'm just kidding. About the family part. Not kidding about the work part. Oh god. compulsions, we've lost crucial allies. You may be powerful, but you are not insightful. <laughs> Join me. Done. Level up. Level six. New feet available. Yeah, because fighters get tons of feats. Um, we can give her great weapon master. That would be so good on her. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Except she managed to have great weapon master and eighteen strength. Win win. All right, switch out for Jorgirl's great sword, please. These great these great swords are just a joke. How big they are, man. All right, leave camp. We've got Lazel. I know she and Shadowheart don't get along, but they should be okay together. <laughs> what? Strength to move this? 11, please. Yes! We can't fail it with an 11. Let's go beefy. Oh, that was tough. This can't have been used in a while. And yet you did it anyway, Bear Rock, because you're just built that way. Okay, we still got a good... 15, 20 minutes. <clears throat> Alright, everybody. Just making sure we didn't miss anything. There wasn't much to miss, I don't think. Yeah, we're good. Alright. That's the way to the Shadow Curse lands. Yep, yeah, let's go. Oh! Oh, sorry. Hold on for dear life. As soon as we enter a conversation, Shadowheart will get teleported to us. That's generally how it's worked. Oh, we have to go. We might have to go back and grab her. Oh, damn it. <laughs> damn it. Oh, let's go get Shadow Heart. Uh, what a great view. Oh, man. Beautiful. <laughs> this must be the crash. I thought this was going to be the crash, but this must be the crash, right? There you are, Shadow Heart. Now we're all together. They didn't even have to move her. She knew. Honestly, everybody's pretty healthy. 
the fact that Asterion's the lowest at 51, that's pretty good. Alright, everyone, let's go. Explore our surround. Oh, hell yes! What is all this? What an absolute jackpot right here. Silver amulet, gold, potion of greater healing, pilgrim's prayer, pilgrim's curse, pilgrim's prayer. Good morning, Lathander. I suppose all mornings for you are good. You're making them out of all the bright bits of night and getting them shine worthy and such. I have two new boys, Luke and Elliot, and I should like them to see lots of your nice sunups. So if you would watch over them, I should be most thankful. I am poor as muck, but have some heart left to give, that which has not been eaten up by the boys and their mums. That bit is yours if you keep them seeing sunrises. Thanks, Harrison Fields. That's nice. Dear Morning Lord, and you are a dearie, haven't I just had the grandest time? Sure, if I was honey, I wouldn't have trouble getting down a hill, so warm and good I feel. I've been headed there to pay you homage and beyond on other business for some two odd months, and every mile's on earth more and more kindnesses. For example, when my sleeping world was infested with bed bugs, itching me disagreeably, Morning Lord, I have no qualms admitting it, a woman gave me a spare of hers, and it was toasty warming of a night, and she with two children of her own to tend. Anyway, thanks for pouring your honey heat over each and every day. Cloudy or no, here for a lone woman barefoot is smiling on the long road. Damn it, I'm gonna have to edit so many of these. <laughs> ah I can't I can't look at the curse. Whatever whatever. They're just little 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 notes to Lathander. Understood. Is there anything up here that we should have grabbed? We can go look, I guess. I don't even have to bring anybody with me, I can just go check. You know about these parasites. Will we survive them? Only if my people extract them. The only other cure is the blade. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, wonderful. A key? What's going on, Blue Jay? Oh, I still need to use my ritual. What's up, Blue Jay? I've got nothing left to take, so you might as well shut off. You have a key. Looking for a crash, you seen one? Like a bloody tour guide. I can make you a dead guide. The roof's the best nest spot on the whole Chion farm. I got there first too, before the thieves showed up. Thieves, what do they steal? Steal? Eagles are bigger. They just take. Nest, prey, everything. That's how it works here. I can hear them. That's exactly how it works, and it's my turn. Get out or I'll turn you into stew. Not again! No! Abandon list! <laughs> Thanks for the key. Ah, the natural order. A wonderful thing. Oh! Someone got repulsion mind, I think. She's okay. Okay, a repulsion mine there would actually kill us. Oh, that was just another way down without having to use the lift. Oh god, I hate this. Okay, good. That's where I wanted it to happen. Very good, very good, very good. Because see, there it won't kill me. Any other checks? Okay, let me see if she can see it. Oh my god, you guys suck at this. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Come on, get a wall to your back. Perfect. Now if you trigger it, you should live. Okay, it went off right there and we saved. Good enough for me. Is there a survival check here? That's kind of what I wanted to see. No, it's just an area. All right, let's go back to the group. <clears throat> Light on my feet. I had my fun. I wonder what that key is gonna be for. I got no clue. Well, let's go ahead and get back to a star and a shadow heart. Our poor people that can't jump. Lazel's coming eventually. 
Uh-oh. Oh, I bet there's something here and we missed it. Survival failed across the board. That's rough. We'll come back with the other three later. Or at least with Carlac and we'll get one more shot at it. Sigil! Rosamorn Monastery. There it is. What's the point of going up here? Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. What is this all about? Another way in, maybe? Is this going to be the crash? We might not need to do that, though. Let's see if we can get in peacefully with Lazel first. Because some parties aren't going to have a Lazel. Because she either died or you killed her. You know, both kind of the same. She died either way, but however she died, she might not be with you. But since we have Lazelle, I'm hoping that we should just be able to get in. Oh, there's, co there's kobolds here. Alright, I'm not gonna lie. Unexpected. Get Yankee or kobold? Breathe quiet. Move with care. Hold up, everybody sneak. My faith will I don't know what I'm looking at yet. Let's go to the shadows. That's enough. Okay, good. We're sneaking. On your feet. Where are you taking us? If this is about that weapon your friend was talking about, we don't have it and we don't know shit about it. Silence. Move. No. Raider Adath. Okay. No, no, no. I'm not <coughs> going in there. I won't. Down goes one. Anyone want to join her? As I thought. Through the doors. Now. The captain is expecting you. Interesting. Forward. Carefully. These cultists have the crash on high alert. I was trying to concentrate. Okay, the Githyanki warrior. So we're within Rosamorn Monastery, we should take a look, and the guards... The, we're gonna finally get to see what a kobold looks like according to Larian in D&D. Find the entrance to the crash. Her favorite flower, she's greatly appreciative of the gesture. Steal will get the Yankee egg. Oh. oh, true, we can speak with the dead on, it, on her. Might get some good info there. This is... I, by the way, I, I'm not over the yet that there's this whole other map that we're interacting with right now. Alright, give us the info. <clears throat> Why were you so desperate to run? Oh, <laughs> oh, uh, okay. <laughs> what do you know about this weapon? Where are you from? What were you doing here? Okay, she, so they are cultists. Where are you, um, what's happening there? Ooh, coalescing. Preparing. Damn straight. All right. Preparing for? Orders from the general. Mm-hmm. I don't think we're getting anything else from her. Uh, what do you know about this weapon? Nothing was telling the truth. All right. No. Anything. What general? Since we were forced to ask. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Alright. Dude, Astarian looks so crazy cool. Most of us do at this point. Is the enemy of my enemy, my friend? 
Or do the Gith only have enemies? <laughs> A fair question to ask. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what a kobold looks like. So next time, I think we're going to enter the monastery. Sick. Uncertainty. Oh, really? Interesting. Your curiosity is getting the better of you. Do not let it. Stay away from the Githyanki. They're hunting you. They want the artifact. They'll stop at nothing to take it from you. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that's that's quite bad, actually. Our curiosity might be getting ahead of ourselves. I guess we'll find out next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining me on this journey in Baldur's Gate 3. Thank you for joining me, Bear Rock, Shadowheart, Asterion, and Lazel this time. And we will see all of you probably for the Rosamorn Monastery doors. Um, because I still think we're probably going to do this next time. Do we turn around? No, right?